We're now going to take a look at using macros in word process documents. Now, in order to run a macro, once again, you go to the developer option, and here I can go record macro. What we're going to do in this specific activity is make automated text go into our document. So in order to do that, I'm going to create two macros. One to tell a customer that their transaction has been approved, and one to tell a customer that their transaction has been denied. So let's start with the transaction approved macro. I'm going to go to the area I want it to appear and go record macro. I'm going to call the macro transaction approved. Okay, and I'm going to describe it. Okay, so text that will be automated when customer's transaction is approved. And I'm given two options. I can either assign it to a button press that will make it appear on the screen or assign it to a keyboard shortcut, which is similar to the previous activity and the way I'm still going to do it for this activity. So I'm going to keyboard shortcut and I'm going to make it Alt A. And that makes sense to me because A stands for approved. So I'm going to press Alt A to assign the transaction being approved. So I'm going to click assign and then once I click close, it's going to start recording my macro. So I'm going to close and I'm going to say your transaction has been approved. Your order should arrive in three to five working days. Thank you for using our service. Full stop. So I'm happy with how that's been written out. Okay, so I'm going to go stop recording. And then the easiest way to test my macro now is to delete that actual text. And I'm now going to press Alt A. And there's my comment. So that's my transaction approved comment. So what I'm actually going to do now is in this area up here where it says macros, I'm actually going to write Alt plus A to remind me that's the shortcut that I said for inserting that text. I'm now going to do the one for transaction denied. So I'm going to delete this text once again. I'm going to go record macro. And this one's going to be transaction denied. Okay, and this will be text that appears when customer transaction has been denied. Okay, and once again, I'm going to assign it to a keyboard shortcut, and this time I'm going to do Alt D. Okay because a D standing for denied. Okay, it's better to use Alt as well because a lot of the control functions have been assigned to actual commands already, such as Control S for saving and um, Control A for selecting all. So Alt D is the shortcut, assign once again, and then I'm gonna go close. So here I'm gonna type, your transaction has been declined. Please try again. Sorry for any inconvenience. All right, so that's the statement that's going to come up whenever the customer's transaction gets denied. So once again, I'm going to stop the recording. I've checked that all my spelling is right. Okay, I'm going to delete it once again. Let's go Alt D. And there's that statement. So now I can test out that both of them are working, but firstly, I'm going to write Alt plus D. And that is my shortcut for the transaction denied statement. So let's test them both out. Highlight it. Alt A. My transaction's been approved. Highlight it again. Alt D, your transaction has been denied. 
So I hope you can see now that I could go through and do 50 customer documents and now with this macro enabled it takes me two seconds to tell them whether their transaction has been approved or denied so making it much more efficient for me as the user and speeding up the process of me doing multiple documents so give this activity a try and see if you can create your own macros with automated comments